Do not buy 12 Tribes on Earth Hair Growth Oil and Hair Magic Elixir unless you want super healthy, gorgeous hair that grows. They have a whole line of amazing hair growth products, including hair growth leave-in conditioner spray, hair growth shampoo, hair growth spray, and hair growth butter. I'm starting to sense a theme here. They include quality natural ingredients. They smell amazing. And you can see the results for yourself. So if you're looking for healthy hair growth for your natural or relaxed hair, try 12 Tribes on Earth today. Ladies and gentlemen, Courtney Clinney made another appearance in court and it was ruled that text messages and emails can be part of the evidence in her case. And these are text messages from her family, you know, like her mom and dad that got arrested. So state prosecutors can use evidence that was tossed from a separate case in the only fan models case of courtney clenny and this was a ruling by a judge this past wednesday clenny 28 was charged with unaliving her boyfriend christian toby obanselli 27 inside of their bayside miami condo on april 2022 and remember it took a long time for them to even arrest her they act like they didn't want to do it. Well, they really didn't want to do it. So last January, after a judge signed a warrant allowing prosecutors to seize text messages and emails as evidence, the state used information gathered during the investigation to charge Clenny and her parents, Kim and Deborah Clenny, with illegally accessing Obamselli's computer. Yeah, I remember that. In fact, they didn't even tell the court that they had the laptop. But the case fell apart in June when Miami-Dade Circuit Court Judge Laura Sheeran Cruz tossed the electronic communications obtained by the state saying it had attorney-client privilege. Sheeran Cruz determined that some of the tests texts and emails included correspondence between Courtney Clenny and family members and the attorneys who represented both that led to the state dropping the charges in the computer hacking case. During Wednesday's hearing, attorney for Clenny and her parents called the text broad and vast and very private he urged Sheeran Cruz to block the evidence, calling it a slippery slope when warrants don't narrow searches to just items related to alleged crime. Miami-Dade assistant state attorney told Sheeran Cruz that his office could view all evidence. The judge has the right to question any text or emails she believes are outside the scope of the case. So they were asking the court not to release the texts and emails during the ruling is, you know, is appealed within 10 days. Well, it'll be interesting because I tell you what, the videos that have come out about her have been really volatile. She was really abusive towards him, but now that he's gone, according to her, it was self-defense. So Courtney Clenny was arrested August 2022 and charged with second degree murder and Obamselli's unaliving. So she was arrested over four months after the incident. And it was at a time when she was in Hawaii having herself in a rehabilitation substance abuse center there and saying that she was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, you know how, you know how it is. She's the victim now. So anyway, since the arrest, Clenny's attorneys have argued that she was defending herself when Obamselli 
was unalive. So the couple's two-year relationship had been rocky. She was arrested for domestic battery in Las Vegas and police visited her Austin, Texas home several times. After the incident in Miami and Clinty made a frantic phone call to Miami police who investigated the alleged crime scene for four months before even taking her in. So the case involving the young jet setting couple drew international media attention and a television special by celebrity website. They're talking about TMZ. I ain't thinking about them. Oh, Bumselli was a cryptocurrency cra uh, trader. Clinty was at one point boasted around 2 million followers on social media. Mm -hmm. And she don't look nothing like she did back then. So y'all, that's where it stands. So it looked like they are going to allow text messages and emails from her family and to be included in her case. Now, in this article, it does not give a date on her case, but 2022, this is 2020. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on this one. I would love to see this entire case from the beginning to end. You know, she should never get out of jail. Just her reaction to him and, and her hitting on him up in that elevator and everything. This woman is a danger to society. Somebody like her should never be free. Instead of putting innocent people in there and giving them decades, you need to give this chick decades behind bars. She definitely deserves it. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.